Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill. And one of the questions I get all the time is, I'm hanging shelves, how do I do it? Or I need to put up a picture or a mirror. What do I need to get the job done? Well, today I'm gonna show you exactly what you need. Okay, so what I have here is I have a variety of different fasteners and they, you know, they all handle different sorts of jobs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you step by step through each one and show you the benefits of each fastener and what they can be used for. Now this is very common. It's a plastic anchor. You have to drill a pilot hole first and this is the plastic anchor here. You drill a pilot hole and insert the anchor and then you insert the screw. I'm sure you've probably seen these a million times. They're for light duty. You would never want to hang anything that weighed more than maybe 10 pounds on a plastic anchor screw combination. So let's, let's, let's install this one. One of the drawbacks in using this kind of fastener, you have to, draw, you have to drill a hole smaller than the anchor itself because it's got to fit snug. So I'm going to get it started here, all right? Then I'm going to just give it a small tap with a hammer. That's it. That's all you need to do. Now, what we have to do is I'm going to take I'm going to take a little hook here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a drill. I've got a Phillips bit here on the end. That's what that is, a Phillips bit. I've got my hook threaded. I'm going to take my uh, screw and I'm going to set it right up there on that anchor and then I'm going to slowly screw it in place. And that's it. That's all it takes. Now again, this is light duty. It, it'll hold something 10 pounds, right? Sheer weight. And I'm going to take you along the back side of the wall so you can see what that actually looks like. So this is the back of the wall. And if you notice, it's split. That anchor split and it's preventing it from falling out. That's what's holding it in place. Now I'm going to move on to my next uh, uh, fastener. This anchor here is self-tapping. All right? And so the beauty of it is, can you see the point here? It's self-tapping so it'll drill right into the surface, right into the drywall. So you don't have to drill a pilot hole first. This anchor drills the hole for you. As you notice, there's a Phillips head at the top of the anchor. Now they say you can use a screwdriver, just a manual screwdriver, but I don't like to use just a screwdriver because uh, it isn't steady. It doesn't steady it as you drive it into the to the surface. So, okay, so what I would encourage you to use is a uh, cordless drill or a cordless screwdriver with a Phillips bit. So what you want to do is you want to decide where you're going to put that screw, right? I'm going to apply a little pressure. And like I said, this is self-tapping. It'll tap right into the drywall. And that's it. Now this too is a, a light duty fastener as well. You know, these are fine for hanging pictures, all right? I've got my hook here, my picture hook, and I've got a screw, and I'm gonna screw it in just like I did the other fastener. So here we go. Well, it's on there pretty good. I, I need to loosen it up a little bit so I can make that. There we go. And that's all it takes. Now, this is a molly bolt. And i got to tell you, they were popular many years ago. They're not as popular today as they used to be. People tend to go for um, fasteners that are easy installation. And this one really isn't because you've got to drill the hole first before you install it. What people like about the molly bolt is, as you can see, the, the anchor, the sleeve itself, is metal. And so there's that sense of security when you're using a metal fastener such as this one. So we're going to install it. I'm going to have to drill a pilot hole, and then I'll insert it, and I'll show you how it works. <laughs> now, if you get in real close, you'll see little tiny teeth. See those little teeth there? That's to make certain that you seat the molly bolt in the drywall and it's going to prevent it from spinning because what's going to happen is we're going to have to tighten the screw up and if it's spinning it won't be able to collapse and that's what we want so I'm going to insert it and then I'm going to show you how this works so it's inserted now I'm going to push down hard remember those teeth they have to grab hold of the drywall let's seat it very well 
Now what we do is we tighten the screw. And as we tighten that screw, it's going to collapse the molly bolt in the back. So it's collapsed in the back. Now I'm just going to remove the screw. Okay. And say I had a piece of, um, I don't know, a piece of wood I wanted to put up. What I would do is, I would, there we go. So that's an example of how you would use a molly bolt. You could use it on a piece of wood if you wanted to anchor wood, or if you wanted to anchor a bracket, you could use a molly bolt for that. Okay, now what is this? This is called a drill toggle. And what's interesting about it is, it's got this Phillips head bit, and we're going to try to install it with a screwdriver. Okay, now you can use a cordless drill or a cordless screwdriver, but we're going to try to use a manual screwdriver because not everybody has a drill. You ready? Our point is self-tapping. I'm going to take a uh, just a manual screwdriver and I'm going to insert it right here. Okay, and insert it right there. And now I'm going to press firmly against the wall and I'm just going to allow the I'm going to twist it back and forth, twist it back and forth, and allow the drill toggle to cut a hole in the surface, okay? Now I'm going to apply some force to make certain it seats. Now it's seated, and it's seated very well. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw in the screw, all right? And that's going to open the toggle from the back. I might have to put a, just to save some time, I think I'm going to put an electric uh, screwdriver on it. Screwing in. Here we go. So, that should give you an idea. Now, this drill toggle, it can hold up to 50 pounds. Now, this is called a snap or a strap. There are a couple different name brands out there. Some some name brands are called snap toggles and others are called strap toggles but the beauty of this is this toggle <laughs> it's self drilling it's just like the drill toggle that I showed you but this is actually this holds a little bit more this can hold 80 pounds of sheer weight and what I like about it is you don't need a drill you don't need a drill you use the head now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here and I'm going to start twisting. Okay? And you twist side to side. And what I like about this is the fact that you don't need a drill. You can do it all by hand. Okay? And now I'm just going to push it through. Now, listen, I got to tell you, you got to you got to pull back on this strap firmly, all right? So I've got it pulled back firmly, and now I'm just going to slide this piece forward. Now, it's not effortless. It takes a little force, but here I go. That's it. So, it's it's in place. Now I've got this hanging here, right? Well, what Leah, what is that? Well, you just snap it off. Snap off the bottom piece, snap off the top piece. And that's what you're left with. Now what I have here is I've got a bracket and I'm going to use this. I'm going to secure this bracket to the wall and all you have to do is insert the screw, which is what I'm going to do there, say. Insert the screw and then I'm just going to tighten it up. So let's go around to the back of the wall so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so that's the back of the wall. So that's it. Pretty simple, huh? Some of those anchors are just effortless. Now, a few of them take a little effort, but it isn't anything that you can't do. This is Leah saying, you can do this. See you next time.